Hey guys, um, got another request video of <coughs> fire or fire salamander care. I'm not sure that that's what the request for, but I'm 99% sure, so I'm just gonna make it anyway. Um, yeah, these guys are like the most amazing salamanders in the world. I swear they're like awesome. They're not mean like tiger salamanders, and they're pretty fun pets to have. So, um, to start off, um, uh, mine's not an adult yet, so, I'm keeping it at 10 gallon. Right now, when it gets to be adult size, you probably want at least a 15 gallon. I go with a 20 gallon. But, you know, it depends. Um, you want a hood, because they like it a little bit humid, not wet, but a little bit humid, not like, you know, poisoned off frogs, but they like it humid, so, get a hood, I wouldn't use a light, I mean, if you do, don't make it, like, a hot one, because they like it cool, for temps, um, I'd say probably, like, 60 to 75 degrees at the hottest because they like it cool, so if you keep them in your basement, they should do fine in there. Um, if, uh, for hides, I'd have, like, at least two, just because they have a choice. I mean, you could deal with one if you need to, but i go with two. I have this thing, like a tree stump, and I have this little hermit crab hide thing, but it works fine. Um... For a water dish, you want um, a shallow water dish. See how my hand barely gets in there. Here, let me show you the salamander in there. See how it just can submerge in water? There's no water in there right now because I just moved it and all spilled out. But um, They need to soak, but they are not good swimmers at all, and they will drown if they cannot get out. So make sure that it's shallow, but they can get fully submerged in it. Um, for substrate, use a mixture of sphagnum moss, or I'd prefer some New Zealand sphagnum moss, but I don't have any. That's probably what they like, and um, I know that's what they like, because I've had it before and it was a lot, um, well, I don't know. It, that's what I would use, though. If you can get New Zealand sphagnum moss, use that. If you can't, doesn't matter. Just use sphagnum moss. Um, and then mix that with, uh... Exoterra, plantation soil, or cocoa husk, or cocoa fiber, not cocoa husk. Mix it with cocoa fiber. I use Exoterra. You don't have to. Um, Exoterra is my favorite, though. Keep this, um, moist, but not, like, dripping. Okay. See, I squeeze it. No water comes out, but I can feel the moisture on it. Because they need moisture, because they're an amphibian, and... If you need to care for an amphibian, you should probably know that they like moisture because they drink and breathe through their skin. Um, or most of them. Or at least they drink through their skin. That, that was a f totally false statement. They breathe, or they, ah, they, um, they drink through their skin. Every amphibian drinks through their skin, so keep it to that. Um, but yeah, fire salmons are awesome. And I get the feeding. Just hold on a sec, and you'll know why in a minute. Okay. Um, you can feed them when they're small like this. Give them crickets that are... Um, like, uh, like, give them small crickets. If you probably get your crickets from a pet store, just get small crickets. Um, they can't really eat large. Um, and for other feeding items, um, not mealworms. They're too hard for it to digest. I mean, you can try it, maybe. But it probably won't eat a meal, or mine won't. 
Um, earthworms. I'm going to show you right now. Hold on. Wait for it to move. There you go. That's like half a week's food right there. No, that's that's overstating. Um probably like three days worth of food is probably like half an earthworm. I or night crawler. Not the earthworm, night crawler. Just buy them for like seven eleven. Mine does just fine on them. It loves them. See, like that? It just ate that whole thing. Pretty awesome animals. Um, overall, for easiness of care, I would give this a 7. Because they're an amphibian. They need humidity, but they don't need everyday care. Um, change the water dish. Um, I'd say... At once every two days, and if it gets dirty, change it once. Uh, whenever it gets dirty, pretty much change it. And if it doesn't get dirty in between two days, change it. Um, the water, I mean, and clean it out. Um, so yeah, if I left out on anything, can you please comment? But don't leave me hate comments because I will, like, I won't even reply. I'm just done with hate comments. It's just pissing me off. This is how I do stuff, and you guys just do not... You're just mean about it. You just give me hate comments, and I'm like... What's your problem? I just don't understand. But, yeah. On that note, rate, comment, subscribe, and like this video, because all it is is click the button, and that'd be awesome. So, um... Yep, I hope you enjoy your fire salamander if you get one. They're a pretty awesome pet.